All right, so now we're going to look at the binomial series. So the difference between what we have here and what we have here is that we are now going to allow the exponent to be any non-zero real number. That's the only restriction we're going to put is that alpha can't be zero, right? Um, we'll also, just to kind of keep things simple, we will do 1 plus x, right, rather than say x plus 2, just so we don't have to worry about these additional powers, right? We just, powers of 1 are just 1. Um, typically what you do if you don't want to deal with the, you know, if, if we wanted to do something like 2 plus x or 3 plus x or 4 plus x, what you probably want to do is, you know, factor it out. So you'd write this as, say, 2 times 1 plus x over 2 and you raise that to the fifth power. So you get 2 to the 5 times 1 plus x over 2 to the fifth power, right? And then you'd expand things in powers of x over 2, multiply everything by 2 to the fifth at the end, and of course you get the same result. And that's easy enough if you're dealing with integer powers, but we want to deal with non-integer powers now, so we want to be able to deal with something like this. Okay, so how does this look? Well, we want to we want Maclaurin series for this thing, right? So the only way we can really proceed here is start taking derivatives. Take derivatives, set them equal to zero. So we've got f of x, right? So we look at f prime of x. We get alpha 1 plus x to the alpha minus 1. So f prime of 0 is alpha. f double prime, we get alpha times alpha minus 1. 1 plus x to the alpha minus 2. So the second derivative at 0 is alpha times alpha minus 1, right? Third derivative, we get alpha, alpha minus 1, alpha minus 2, and then 1, oops, 1 plus x the alpha minus 3, right? So the third derivative at 0 is alpha, alpha minus 1, alpha minus 2. And you keep going and you find that after n derivatives, you've got alpha, alpha minus 1, alpha minus, so not quite n, right? It's always one more. n minus 1, 1 plus x to the alpha minus n, okay? So the nth derivative at zero, we get alpha times alpha minus one down to alpha minus n plus one. Okay, so what do we do with that? Well, in the Maclaurin series formula, right, we wanna, we wanna be able to write this thing we want a Taylor series for, right? We want a Maclaurin series. So we want to figure out how to write f of x as a power series, n equals 0 to infinity a n, x to the n. And we know that this should look like, it's a Maclaurin series, this should look like the nth derivative at 0, n factorial, x to the n. Right? Okay. Very good. Actually, for the sake of comparison with what we have over here, let me use, instead of n, let me use k just for a moment. So we're going to use k. Okay? k. k. Okay? And so I'll write that as k. And then, of course, we want the kth derivative. We want to divide by k factorial, k factorial, okay? Well, there's a, there's a convenient notational trick that we introduce here. We introduce this notation. We say that for any real number alpha not equal to zero, we denote by alpha choose k, still read it as alpha choose k even though it has really maybe nothing to do with counting anymore, this product, alpha, alpha minus 1, down to alpha minus k plus 1 over k factorial, okay? And we write it like that. 
we can't write the numerator in terms of factorials because although we have this product here, right, alpha is not an integer, so this is not a product of integers, so it's not a factorial. Um, but we'll write it like that. And here's the thing. That agrees with what we get when n is an integer because n factorial is n times n minus 1 down to n minus k plus 1 times n minus k factorial divided by k factorial n minus k factorial, right? So you can cancel those. And you get the same result. You get n, n minus 1, down to n minus k plus 1 over k factorial. Right? So this is like sort of a new and improved formula for the binomial coefficients, right? Um, it still agrees with the old formula for the binomial coefficients, but it also works. Uh, if alpha is a real number, right? We get any real number we want. Okay, so actually that means with this notation, we can write, we can write the following binomial series expansion. f of x equals sum n equals 0 to infinity, alpha choose n, x to the n, okay? That's our binomial series expansion. All right, uh, we'll pause here. We're gonna come back, we'll, we'll clean up the board a little bit, and we're gonna put this formula to use. We're gonna do maybe one example, we'll return to this square root example perhaps. Uh, we still have to address a couple of things, right? We've gotta, we've gotta address the equality, make sure that, you know, does, does this actually fit um, Taylor's theorem? Does it work? Does the remainder go to zero? Uh, What's the radius of convergence? We've got to talk about that as well, right? So we'll make sure we have the right radius of convergence, take care of all of that. Um, then we can talk about the binomial series as a function.